Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Bordan Mutahajid Ibatu Rahman Here I want to explain about um, business letter What is business letter? A business letter is a professional form letter that is sent by one company to another This letter can be used for professional correspondence between business client, employees, stakeholder, as well as individuals. Whether you need to tell a potential client about your product, collaborate with another company, convince someone to attend your event, or give a thank you note, a well-written business letter can stand out. How to format a business letter? When formatting your business letter, readability should be your top priority. Selecting the right font style and setting marking correctly are two examples of ways you can ensure your letter is clean looking and easy to read. Consider this additional step when formatting your business letter. 1. Select a professional font size and style when deciding on which font to use for your business letter pay attention to the simplicity of the style while it may seem attempting to select something unique to personalize the letter heavily stylish font might be difficult for your audience to read they should be able to gather, to gather the most important information from your letter as quickly as possible. Here are a few examples of popular font used in professional document. Is Arial, Avenir, Calibri, Corbel, Garamond, Georgia, Gilsense, Helvetica. Open Sense, Robot 2, Times New Roman. When selecting a font size, choose the smallest size that is still easily readable. Typical between 10 and 11 points. Smaller than 10 points, font will be difficult to read, while font larger than 12 points might appear unprofessional. 2. Include contact information When designing the layout for your business letter, start with an outline that has all the necessary information and section. Typically, a business letter includes the following details at the top of the page. Your contact information like name, job title, company, phone number, and email. Including your contact information, allow the reader to quickly identify who the letter is from. The date your letter is written or finished. Include the date after your contact information and format it according to your country standard. For example, in the US, you should spell the month, the, then include the day and year like July 10, 2020. Recipient contact information, name, job title, company, company address. Below the date, include the recipient contact information so the reader can ensure the letter is in the right hands. Well, it is not necessary to include a recipient name, it best to address a business letter to a specific individual. If you are unsure of who you should address the letter, try, try doing some research to identify the best recipient. Consider avoiding personal title like Mr. or Miss since you may not know the recipient gender or prefer gender identity. However, you can include 
the title doctor, prof, STD, or ref, if appropriate. 3. Include body information. The following section come after the applicable contact information. Salutation. Use the same name in the salutation to that you include in the recipient information section. If you are writing under a formal syrup stance, such as a cover letter to a convertative bank or law firm, then you might address the reader with the first and last name. For example, Dear Deborah Jones. If you know the recipient or are waiting to a less formal company like a tech startup, then you could simply write Dear Deborah. If you cannot identify an individual recipient, then you can use a salutation that address a company or team like their company ABC team or their finance team. Body Maintain consistent formatting throughout the body of your business letter to give it a professional look. Left justify and single space your text and spread each paragraph with an additional line of space as shown in the example above. Also, remember to be brief. You can open your business letter with a friendly greeting but quickly move on to your main points and only include context and information that is absolutely necessary. And next, closing and signature. Include a closing line after body of your letter such as thank you or keen regrets followed by four blanks line below then your name in the in the space between your closing line and name you will include your a signature or your handwritten signature if printing the letter if you are not printing your letter and you don't have an a signature you can include your name on the line on the line directly below the closing next and closer if you are mailing your letter and including additional document like resume at a section title and closer below your signature and list all other document you are sending with one note on a separate line if you are emailing your letter you might use the word attachment instead for example enclosure or attachment reserve preference transcript number four Pay attention to spacing and marking. Spacing play an important role in making your business letter appear readable and professional. Be sure to insert the appropriate number of space between the elements of your letter. Typically, business letter include one line of blank space after each section until you reach the closing line. It recommend to insert four lines after your closing line after your name if you are include and close. Remember, the body paragraph of your letter should be single space, and the entire letter should be aligned to the left side of the page, as opposed to the center or aligned right. This make it easy for the audience to read. In addition, a professional document typically 
as one inch margin. This might seem like an especial wide margin, but it is appropriate for margin to be bit larger than usual, or something sometimes up to one and a quarter inch for business letter. Five. Begin and end your letter properly. As you start your letter, take care to address the reader appropriately, if absolutely necessary. It is okay to include a general greeting like "too warm it may concern," or addressing them by their job title, such as "dear director" or "finance." If you know the recipient name but have never formally met them or have only briefly met, you should include a more proper greeting like "dear." first name last name if you have a deeper relationship with the recipient feel free to greet them with their first name as you would address them in person again avoid the title like mr and miss if you are not certain of the recipient gender or gender identity Select a brief appropriate closing to end your letter. Additional options include sincerely, respectfully, or all the best. Followed by your first and last name and job title. You should include a space between the close and your name. 6. Decide whether to send your letter through the post or email. We have not special consideration for your closing, signature, and enclosure depending on how you will send your business letter. If you are using email, you might to choose to send a business email instead when appropriate. Or you can include a brief message in the body of your email address to the recipient and ask them to refer to your attached business letter first for example you can you guys can see this hi deborah my name is fill your with fill with your first name and i'm writing to you for fill your reason please find my blah 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 letter attached with future details best Fill your first name and last name. Maybe that's enough. That all I can say. That all I can explain. Sorry if there are still many shorts coming. I hope you, I hope you guys understand what I'm explain. What I have explained. And that's all. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bobby, 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 Bobby,